Hi, right, how you doing? This is David from Ninth Hour. It's time again for the Ninth Hour Songwriting Challenge on Facebook. It is April 17th, and I'm on Challenge 17. The 17th on the 17th. 17 on the 17th. Anyway, uh, Challenge 17 was submitted by Wayne Hartley, and I've known Wayne for a few years now. Uh, Wayne's a retired uh, Independence Police Officer. Um, he uh, has been in law, was in law enforcement for many years. But he was also a pastor at one time, uh, graduated from seminary, and now he serves as a chaplain, I believe, for the Independence Police Department. And uh, Wayne challenges me with this, uh, having law enforcement in his blood. My friend, here's my challenge for you. Matthew 5, 9 and Romans 13, 3 through 4. Um, in 5, 9, if you're familiar with that, that's the Beatitudes and, and basically the, the ninth uh, verse in that chapter is blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the sons of God um, and in uh, Romans 13 3 and 4 it says for the rulers uh, for rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior but for evil and you know it goes on it in, in that Romans verse it talks about the submission to authority that um, you know that that uh, people in authority that that um, like police officers they're there. They're put there to protect us. Uh, God puts them in their place to protect us from evil and to keep order in, in, in the earth, on the earth. Um, Wayne go ahead, he goes ahead and writes this too. He says these are some of the verses that establish law enforcement officers as ministers of God for good. Many today do not realize that God puts law enforcement in the world to help control and maintain the good and to strengthen His kingdom. So. Um, I took those verses, and I've got a lot of friends in law enforcement, and um, and I I know a lot of about what they deal with, and um, you know I have some personal experience there as well, um, dealing with law enforcement and um, in a law enforcement world. So I understand some of the sacrifices that are made on family, um, just uh, you know the, the the stresses of the job. I don't know if you know this, but law enforcement police officers are probably they have the the, the second highest bankruptcy, divorce, and alcoholism rate and suicide rate of any other profession um, around. And uh, I think the number one was dentistry, which my father was a dentist. So um, anyway, everyone loves a fireman, but no one likes a policeman. But they're there for a reason, and they're there to protect us. And um, so I took those verses and I and I worked up this song um, called "The Peacemakers." And because of the verses, I really didn't know how to approach this one. Um, so I don't know that there's necessarily a happy ending, um, but it's a story. It's more of a story song. So this is called uh, "The Peacemakers." And Wayne, buddy, I ch accept your challenge for Romans. 13 and for Matthew 5, 9. So here's your song, The Peacemakers. These children are sleeping, toys scatter the floor as he heads out to start his day. Kisses his wife and he heads out the door Another Christmas Eve away He carries a Bible in his bullet vest And he walks his feet alone An agent of order got his innocence best To enter the battle zone God sent this man
Peacemaker, and that's in response to Wayne Hartley's challenge from Matthew 5, 9, and Romans 13, 3, and 4. And it's in, uh, I guess, an honor and dedicated to the law enforcement officers that, that put their life on the line every day to keep us safe. And uh, God bless you guys. Hope you enjoy this song. That was a hard one. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on, moving on. Challenge number 18 is next. And uh, that one was submitted by, the next challenge is submitted by Kirsten. And if you remember the song I wrote a while back um, uh, called uh, Where is the Love for Joe Dyke. Well, Kirsten is the little girl that inspired that song. And um, she's 11. And uh, I got to meet her the other day. They started coming to our church. And she's a beautiful young lady. And uh, she wants me to write a song, her mom wants me to write a song that'll calm her down. So, something that she can sing along and fairly easy uh, to sing along with, but, but a calming song. So, that'll be my next challenge, and I hope to have it up pretty soon. So, God bless you guys. Thank you for playing the Ninth Hour Songwriting Challenge here on Facebook. Remember, if you can't see them here, you can't even hear me tell you this, but you can go over to our YouTube channel as well and watch them over there. And... Share them on your wall. Share them with your friends. Um, comment on them. We'd love to hear what you think. And God bless you guys. I'll keep writing. You keep sending me challenges. I'll keep writing. God bless.